Moodle quizzes are one of the most popular activities in Moodle, but did you know that you could use quizzes to actually deliver learning content much in the same way that you do with the lessons? In this video, we're going to look at how we can set a quiz up to deliver learning content and stand in the place of the lesson. And one of the reasons why you might want to do that is because uh, in lessons, you can only give one question per page when you're doing your knowledge check. Whereas in the quiz, you can put as many questions on a page as you want. So how do you, well, let's take a look at how it might, how, how it looks when you are actually setting up a quiz in this manner. So let's take a look at this one here. Let's preview this quiz. And you'll see that, okay, we have some learning content here learning content and some more learning content and notice we've not actually had any questions now we have questions here and up at the top you notice there's a there's a little bit of um, instructional or instructions for the question and down below you have some questions some of them are text questions and some of them and there's one multiple choice question down there at the bottom so if you go on, there's more content. And so you can see that it's working very much like a lesson. And you'll see over here you have quiz navigation that, you, that will take you through the, the content. And you'll notice that some of these um, navigation blocks have an I in it, whereas others have numbers. Well, the numbers are your typical questions that you would find in a quiz. And so you see if you come to this one, number one is this question here. Whereas if you click on the I, it will take you to an information block or a description block. And that just gives you some kind of text, uh, video, image, or other HTML content that you can use as actual learning content delivery. Now, let's see how you can set this thing up. So I'm going to go scroll down to Edit Quiz, and we'll take a look at it. You'll see that you can lay it out just like any other quiz page, but what, but what you do, instead of putting all questions on to a single page or 10 questions a page or whatever, initially set it to each question on a separate page and that way when you enter your content it will automatically be set up on a separate page so when you enter this content first about factors then factors of a number etc 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 all of that will come up on a separate page the second thing is when you come to your question page you can then well first of all it would look normally like this initially what you can do if you want to combine a number of questions onto the same page, you just remove these page breaks so that all of these questions come together on the same page. And I'm going to actually move this page break too because this find the factors is actually the instructions for the rest of the questions on that page. So let's take a look at this particular type of question and I'm going to click on the edit and you'll notice that it comes up just as an HTML block there's no question that you enter and there's no answer that you enter and that's a special type of question called a description and you'll notice that it says up here edit a description if you click on the help it tells you it a description is not really a question type it just allows you to enter text or any other HTML content to be uh, entered without requiring any answers, much like a label on a course page. And so we can save, ooh, can save the changes and you'll go back to the quiz layout page and I'll actually show you how you can set up your own description page. So let's add a new question. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the choices, you'll see description down here. Just click Add, and it'll come up. You'll see you have the HTML block just as usual. And I'm going to put in, this is my trial description. 
Right here. I'm using this to deliver learning content. And you can put videos or images or whatever else you want in, in, into it, just like any other HTML block. So click on Save Changes, and you'll see that my description page comes up here at the bottom on its own page again. And if I want to preview what it looks like, just comes up just as a blue learning content box. The great thing about more recent versions of Moodle, that is Moodle 2.9 and Moodle 3.0, in the quizzes you actually can use conditional questions as well, similar to you, you would use in a lesson, which would allow you to send learners to different pages depending on how they answer a particular question. So you don't even lose that functionality if you use this method to create a quiz. And so this can provide actually a quite rich alternative to the lesson. I hope this helps and good luck in using quizzes to deliver learning content.